Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to share with you my recent empty products in the past six months. Uh, I am just a beauty enthusiast. I am also a beauty minimalist, so I do not use up a lot of products and it took me a while to accumulate enough stuff to be able to share with you in a meaningful way. I will start with beauty product and then moving to makeup. My age is 33 and I live in the northeast of the US, so we have very extreme summer and extremely cold winter and stretch for a long period of time. During the winter time, my skin get really dry and during the summertime, I have oily skin. I also had just had a baby about five months ago so the past six months I've been through postpartum period and also kind of the tail end of my pregnancy. So without further ado I'm gonna start with makeup remover. I did finish up a bottle of the Bobbi Brown makeup remover as well as the Dermalogica one which I had a video reviewing those makeup removing oil that I can link down below. I like them both for different reasons, but my favorite is uh, the Shiromura Makeup Removing Oil, which is the one that I'm currently using. I move into Serum, which is the first step after cleansing my face. I finish up the Inklist Retinol Serum, which looks like this, and this is a smaller bottle. I finished it up, I did not feel any difference, but I also learned that it takes three months to feel the difference. So I purchased another 60 milliliter bottle to give it continue a try. I would say as a retinol product, this is not too harsh on my skin at all. I did not experience any issue in the beginning. I was using it every two, three days, but then, then I increased the frequency to every day, every night actually. And I did not experience any discomfort or peeling or pimple or anything like that. It's my skin was dealing with this pretty well. So I'm curious to continue to try it and see if it bring back some youthful look to my skin. The second group of product that I use up are face cream. I use up two jar of Lancome Absolute Soft Cream. So this is, I think, the Lancome's premium line of the face cream and it smells amazing. It smells like just high-end quality face cream and it's rose scent. Yeah, it just, whenever I put it on to my face, I just feel really pampered and being taken care of. So I do like it, but I don't know if I need it at this stage of life. I just feel like it's very extravagant <laughs> to use expensive creams like this. Am I gonna repurchase? I don't think in the short term I would, um, but I'm gonna keep the packaging because you can also purchase replacement um, insert, which I think is very, very smart and very environmentally friendly. So I do enjoy it. Something more economical that I equally enjoy is the Clinique Moisture Surge 100 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. This is a product that I have been using since college and I love it. It's simple, it does not, clock my pore, it gives enough hydration, and it does not break out the skin. During the winter, this alone is not enough, so I would pair it with the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, and two of them together is more hydrating and moisturizing to my face. So I use two of them together during the winter time. The last cream that I use up, which is the La Rouge Posay uh, Ceta Plus Balm B5. I was introduced to this cream because of my cousin who also recently had a baby and this balm is also very friendly for baby. So she gave me a tube and I fell in love with it. My baby when he was born, he had sometimes dry skin on his face. And so I would usually dab a little bit of water with the very soft cloth towel and just dab his face and then I put on this cream. And like 30 minutes later, I look at my baby, I was like, wow, your skin is glowing. And I was very amazed by it and how calming and restoring and hydrating it is once you, you know, first of course, make it wet a little bit and then put this on. It's just fantastic. And my cousin has amazing skin. She told me that this is one of her um, favorite face cream that she just uses it as face cream. So I love it, my baby love it. We together use up one tube within I think two months or so, and now this is the second tube. Um, this is quite expensive for the size, I think it's $15. However, compared to something like something as expensive as the Lancome Absolute Cream, 
I feel like this is very worth it. And I can just use it uh, after using the retinol, which retinol can be very drying to the skin. So these two has been my recent combination. And, and that concludes the face cream category. Then I want to share with you the sunscreen that I used up, which is the Ulta MD sunscreen UV daily breast spectrum SPF 40. In order to achieve the SPF 40, you have to pump a very large quarter size to and then slather it over your face to get the equivalent protection that is on the package every month and a half i'll use up one of these it feels so comfortable it does not smell like those um, sunscreen smell and the texture is very lightweight and it feels like moisturizer on your face it does not really work that well on your makeup <laughs> so i would say once you put this on wait for 10 minutes, half an hour before you put your actual makeup. Otherwise, it may run a little bit, but it's very easy to use. And I think that's the most important thing for sunscreen is that it does not cause lots of issue and then make it a very big hurdle to wear it. It should be something easy, simple, don't have to think about it. Just put it on every day as your routine. Um, in the summertime, I would just use this as my face cream in the morning after washing my face because it has lots of just face cream ingredient in there. Um, then I'll move on to the makeup portion. Um, for disclosure, I did not put on a lot of makeup in the past six months, so I did not use up a lot of stuff. But I did finish up an e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. This is a taupe color that I pick up from the grocery store, literally $3. I use it up within, I think, a few months and it does not break the bank. Is it as amazing as the Anastasia Brow Wiz? No, it's because it's not as thin, but does it do the trick and then look good enough for like Zoom meetings? I think so. So I'm gonna continue to repurchase it. I also finished up a Dior Attic Lip Glow 001 Pink. Uh, this is amazing because it feels like lip balm and it looks great. It's one of those um, lip product that changes color based on your pH level or your body temperature and some of them come across weirdly color wise but the 001 pink works very well for me I already repurchased this product but I choose a different color uh, I think I, I got the 005 the cherry color it turned into this very weird fuchsia red dark pink on me, which I'm not a huge fan of. So I think I'm gonna go back to repurchase this 001 color because it's very um, everyday and natural. And I can even wear it when I'm not wearing makeup. Yeah, so that concludes my recent empties. I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you find a couple of products that you are curious to find out if you like. Take care, bye.